Hey everybody, it's Gumpla Melly. Welcome back to my channel. How have you guys been? Hopefully everyone's been doing great. I actually just got back from visiting my grandma in South America, Colombia. I was there for a little bit visiting her and hanging out with her. She just turned 93 years old. So I'm sorry there's been a little bit of a delay, but I took some time off to go over there and spend some time with her because I haven't seen her in a while. But let me continue on with today's review. So today I have a very exciting review for you guys. As you could already see in the thumbnail, today I'm going to be talking about this awesome little kit. Let me show you the box. Ta-da! This cutie right here, I'm going to be referring it to as she because the Gundam looks very girly and feminine to me, which is a plus. I like the slender silhouette, but it's just easy for me to call it she. So this is the box art. Here we go, looking super epic. Gundam Ariel. Here are the sides of the box. The other side. And you get a little bit of information over here. And the other side, let's see. I'm pretty sure this is in English. Slu Suleta Mercury. She is a girl who transferred from the school's pilot department from the Mercury front. She is the pilot of the Gundam era developed on Mercury. So in case of those who haven't watched the anime, this is where it's from, Witch of Mercury. Now I'm just, I'm just gonna say it right here. At first, I honestly didn't like the design. I'm not even gonna pretend I liked it. I didn't like it when I first saw it. I was like, mm, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. I just, I, I, I just thought the thighs were a little chunky and then the waist is slender. I don't know, I, I wasn't too fond of the initial design. But as I started to watch the anime and the more I looked at pictures of the model, it really grew on me, like a lot. And now I, here I am, a Gundam Aerial fan because I really, really like it. And I really, really hope that there is a master grade planned in the future. I'm pretty sure there is, but you know, who knows a Bandai, who knows? But I would love a master grade of this. But um, before I continue to ramble on, let me get straight into the review. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, this is like a 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> okay. Let me get into the, now, before I finish with the rest of the review, I actually want to talk about, and this is not a sponsor, so don't fast forward, this is not a sponsored content, this is not a sponsored video. I actually wanna give a shout out to a really awesome creator that I love to buy stickers, and my sister even got some shirts, or not shirt, a really cool Yu-Gi-Oh sweatshirt. So he's actually sent me some items to give away on this video. So I'll be picking out a lucky person from down in the comments, and there's also a code, Gumplameli, that is an affiliated link. If you wanna use it, you get 5% off your total purchase. I'll have the information in the description Again, I'm not getting paid for this. This is not a sponsored video. I just really like to support out local artists. And there's one thing I love is stickers. I love stickers. So I have a whole collection of stickers that I put on my water bottles and my table. All right, so let us take a look at the manual. Got some color stuff. And what's really nice is, of course, this is a newer kit. So you get English in here as well to help with the build process. Pretty straightforward build. And let's take a peek at the back. And that's it for the manual. I'm gonna get one sticker sheet, which you guys can see I actually use some of these to make the kit a little bit more anime accurate. And sadly, you only get just two sets of hands. That's it. One beam rifle, two beam savers, one effect part. This is what it looks like attached to the beam rifle. With this little attachment right here, you can also attach the beam saver. I'll show you what that looks like. And it snaps on just like that. What's really nice is that you actually get two versions of this for the chest. You have this regular version and then you have like the powered on or where, you know, the more stronger version right here, as you can see from the anime where she's like connected more. It's nice that you get two options for the chest. It's pretty cool. And lastly, all the gun bits. So I think there's what, 10, 11? Yeah, there's a whole bunch. These all form into a shield, which I will now show you what it looks like. And here's the shield with all the gun bits attached together. Okay, so here is the kit all snapped up, 
panel line put together and I also gave it a touch of matte top coat because I like the way the matte makes the, you know, just straight build kits look out the box. I feel like it looks less of a toy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Less of a toy. All right, so for the head, she can look up about that far, down about that far, and a little bit of uh, technical difficulties. Excuse me. Um, turkey action going on. She can bend to the side as well. It's really nice to see this amount of articulation in a high grade. They can move up, down. She can also push them this far out. As you can see, there's an extra part right here that allows for more movement to come out, as you guys can see. I mean, just the articulation on this guy is absolutely amazing. Guy, I just said I was... You know, just ignore me. Sometimes I make no sense. <laughs> I crack myself up. Full 360 here at the arm. Elbow can be bent. A little past 90 degrees. For the hand, full 360. And she can also spin this all the way around. Move out about that far. Now let's take a look here at the chest. She's got a little bit of an ab crunch, as you guys can see. Full 360 to the side. All right here, there's little armor pieces that are actually articulated. Now here, you guys, I need to be very careful because I actually broke. I don't know if you guys can tell right there. It's actually snapped off. I'm pretty upset about that, but I'm gonna see if I can try to super glue that or use some Tamiya cement and fix that. But that's why it looks like that. As you can see, these flaps, they can move up and down. The front skirts, up and down. There are no back skirts for the booty, so this is what you get. For the legs, she can kick. Get this out the way. All the way out. And because there's no back skirt, she can kick out really far as well. For the knee here, basically all the way back. Oop, that is a bad numb mark. Excuse me, you might see some numb marks on this kit because my god hands actually broke, unfortunately. So I need to replace my nippers. If you guys can recommend me any ones that are a little bit more durable than the god hands, I'd really appreciate that. Now at the knee, let me zoom in. There's actually articulation here, as you guys can see. For the foot, actually, first off, you have the ankle armor, which is on a ball joint, so it has a little bit of a swivel action. The foot can point, oh, you go too far to pop out. Can go all the way up and all the way down. Here, the foot actually has two points of articulation. You have the back heel, which can swivel, and you have the front which also, which, <laughs> which also has its own articulation. Oh my gosh, today I'm just all over the place. So she can also point inwards about this much of an angle. So not too much because the ankle armor hinders that. And outside, about that far. For the ankle armor, it's on a ball joint so it can swivel a little bit. All right, so now let us take a look at the back. This is what the back looks like. Here, she's got her beam sabers attached. They can pop off, just like that. And that is pretty much it for the backpack here. There's some attachments, so you can put weapons, gun bits, and things like that. Same with the arms. I will show you guys what that looks like in just a minute. But overall, that's the articulation. I give this a solid nine, I'll just give it a 10 out of 10. I'm really amazed with this high grade. So I'm really pleased with how she's able to hold up the shield. It's pretty sturdy. That part keeps falling off. As you guys can see, obviously the top coat might've helped with that a little bit, but even before she really didn't have any problems holding up the weight of this shield, which is fairly large when you look at it compared to the rest of the kit.
right, so this is what she looks like with all the gun bit attachments placed on. Looks a little bit beefier. I like the way it looks, especially at the shoulders. I really like those attachments. The asymmetry between both arms because they are different parts actually kind of, I think, works well with the kit. Let me show you guys what the back looks like with her back skirt armor on. And this is what the back looks like. Now for the back skirt here, these are actually articulated so you can kind of pin them in whatever direction you want. The back skirt, it's okay with me. I just, I don't know, I feel like I don't like the back skirt as much as I like how the front looks. I feel like it's a little too long, but that's just my personal preference. All right, so let's do a little size comparison. You can see how big or small she really is. First up here is a master grade Zaku and a high grade Zaku Origin. Okay, so now to go over my final thoughts on this kit. Do I recommend it? Should you get it? Should you add it to your collection? Let's see. So off the bat, I want to say I really enjoyed this kit. It was fun to put together. It's not overly complicated. It's a high grade. Now for the price, I think you're definitely getting your money's worth. I think I picked her up for like... $20, I can't remember, something around there. This, I got actually got this model from um, the Anime NYC convention in New York, but with a few other kits. But I don't remember her being super expensive around that standard high grade price, maybe a little extra tax because it was, you know, New York and in a convention, you're gonna spend a little bit more money. Um, but I definitely get your money, think you get your money's worth. There's tons of accessories. I kind of wish they had more hand options, but that's just, you know, preference, I don't really like this this kind of hand where it's like the hole for the rifle or whatever. I'm not too much of a fan of that. I prefer open palmed hands like this, you know. Um, so that's just a minor nitpick there. I think she's got a good amount of surf surface detail, the panel lines. You saw a little bit of my nut marks because I broke my god hand nippers. Like this is like the fourth pair I've broken. I'm really fed up with god hand. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love God Hands products, but the nippers are very delicate. And no matter what I try to, um, sometimes I get like sweaty hands and I fumble and they come, they fall out of my hands. You're done. If that happens, that that then they hit the floor and you have tile. That's it. You get chipped, a chip blade, snap off part, I'd broken, I think three of them on accident that way um, from dropping them out of my hand again because I, I don't know why I get like, don't ask me, okay? They just, I, I got butterfingers, okay? So I've broken like three of them like that and then I've broken two other ones I think just by using them. Um, some of the harder plastics, they're just not as durable although they, they do give an amazing cut. Just, yeah, so. My nippers are broken. I gotta find some other ones. If you guys can recommend me some decent alternatives that are stronger and still cut as good, please let me know in the comments because I don't really want to drop another $60 on God Hands when I know with me, the way I am with my Butterfingers, I know they're bound to break. So I need something a little bit more durable that will cut just, well obviously it's not gonna cut as good since the blade will probably be a little thicker to be more resilient. I just want something that's gonna cut good and hopefully I won't break because I'm clumsy unfortunately. So that's more of my issue. Not really God Hands issue. My issue, which I know. But anyways, I feel like I'm going off on a tangent here. Um, should you get this kit? Absolutely yes. 100% positively. Yes, 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 yes. I like the look. I like the proportions. I like that you get two different, you know, um, options for her chest. You know, if you like the powered on or you like the standard version, I really like all those little Gundam bits or gun bits that more merge into the giant shield. And then I would think she looks really good with the parts on the shoulder and the sides. It looks phenomenal. The big shield looks really good as well. So overall, I'm like super pleased and I'm really excited for the anime to come out with part two. If you haven't already watched it, I really, really recommend you watch the anime. I'm not gonna lie, in the beginning I was like, first episode was good. Then after like two, episode two or three, I was like, hmm, it's not really my kind of, I do watch a lot of anime and it just one just wasn't in my cup of tea, I was like, ah. I don't know if I'm going to really like it, but let me just stick it through and ho, ho, ho. 
for those of you who have watched this show know where I'm coming from. I mean, they just like pulled the rug out from under me, okay? I was not expecting the things that happened in the show. So, you know, I just say, if you're like me, you're kind of standoffish, like, oh, is this gonna be like some kind of high school triangle love thing? That's not me. Um, so I just say, give it a shot. If you're also not really feeling it by episode two or three, just give it a shot because the anime is worth it. And I really like designs. I like watching it makes me want to get even more kits from this anime just because of how much I enjoyed it. So anyways, I think I'm pretty much done blabbering at this point. So hopefully the kit itself has sold it, sold herself to add to your collection. Highly recommend. It gets a two thumbs up from Gumplamelli. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Adios. And as always, a big thank you to all the people over on my Patreon for supporting my channel, especially those in my gold tier, who are Rico Stealth, Michael Lyons, and Chris Wright, my silver tier, Biblo Jack 4, and Jesus Ramirez, and all of my ultimate fans, Allison Yancey, David Sakura, Gregory Fraser, Hassan Boz, Madi, and Michael Lawrence. Thank you guys for all the support.